So we're back again with the polo and honestly I'm not even sorry because there is nothing like the polo in the Indian market. It's so versatile, it's so nice to drive and it's so tuner friendly. And yes, this badge over here might be very familiar but weirdly this is a car that we have never featured on the channel. This is a Volkswagen Polo GT TDI 1.6 a very rare car and it was sold in india for a very short amount of time so today i'm going to tell you why this is one of the best tuner cars that you can buy in a budget So this is what all of the conundrum is about. It's a 1.6 liter turbocharged diesel engine underneath the hood. And yeah, the engine itself is not really that special. You could get it in the Rapid, you could get it in the Vento. And it was a pretty standard engine for both of those things. But it was a very rare engine to find in the Polo because it was only offered between 2013 and 2015. And after that, that engine was replaced with a 1.5 TDI. So the amount of GT TDIs with a 1.6 that have been sold is very less. If I know the proper number, it will be over here somewhere. So this engine basically produces 103 bhp and 250 Nm meters of torque stock, which is quite a lot for a car which is so small and so compact. More importantly, the GT TDI is very famous for being a good tuner car, regardless it being a 1.6 or a 1.5, but you should definitely go for the 1.6 because of course you have 0.1 liters of more displacement, the top end is a little bit better and once you slap on a CR140 turbo onto this thing, this makes 160 horsepower and almost 350 newton meters of torque. Do you want to own a cool car like this Polo GT TDI? Well, head over to TDH Classifieds, your one-stop shop for India's favorite performance cars. We have the best of the best examples of tuned, modified and even stock cars available on our website. Everything from a stage 2 score Alora to unicorns like the Volvo S80 V8 to even a Lamborghini Huracan. Follow TDH Classifieds on Instagram to get the latest updates on our inventory. And also to get updates on our unlisted section of cars, which are the cars that cannot be listed on the website due to privacy reasons. Plus, we will list your car on our website for only 500 rupees for 3 months. So head on over to TDH Classifieds. So now let's just quickly dive into the looks of this car. It's nothing new. You've seen it a million times on our channel. Uh, this is the first gen Polo that has come into India. That's why it has no facelift, nothing. This is the uh, first gen bumper that you get onto the car. Since it's the GT variant, you get the GT badging. You get 15 inch alloy wheels. Uh, you get a little spoiler at the back. And yeah, it's pretty much a very normal looking car. But this car reminds me a lot of my old GT TSI. I mean, the color, the blacked out roof, the blacked out wheels. It's very reminiscent of my older car. And there's nothing wrong in the looks of the Polo. I mean, it looks very nice. But if you want to go ham, you can definitely do that. You can get all sorts of bumpers, wheels, spoilers, hoods, steering wheels, anything that you want, it's available for the Polo. So even if it looks like this right now, you can completely change the look of it to your own liking. So the Polo GT TDI is definitely one of the rarest Polos around in India. And more importantly, it is one of the fastest stock Polos that you can buy in India. I mean, this thing with its 1.6 litre TDI, relentless amounts of torque is just addictive to drive. Literally any gear, any RPM, it doesn't matter. This thing can just pick up and move. That's how much torque this engine produces and especially in a chassis which is so small compact and light you can definitely feel all of that torque pushing you to the back of your seat the gt tdi 1.6 makes 103 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque and that is not all because the gt tdi 1.6 is one of the most tuner friendly VAG diesel engines that you can definitely get in under a budget of let's say 5 lakh rupees. Now a lot of people think that the 1.2 TSI GT is like a proper little hot hatch. Well, not really. In comparison to this GT TDI, 
that thing is nowhere near as fast or as torquey as this motor the 1.2 TSI first of all has a ton of problems with it first of all it's a single overhead cam engine so it does not have a lot of top and grunt then the DQ200 transmission is a big problem replacing that thing with the new clutch flywheel all of that if something goes wrong with the DSG it's like 1 lakh 1 and a half lakh rupees and then the engine itself is not really that tolerant to all of these mods stage 2 is a sweet spot for that engine and in stage 2 format well the GT TSI makes probably 130 bhp whereas this literally in any sort of tuning stage will definitely produce at least 15 to 20 bhp more than a 1.2 TSI and more importantly it does not come with a 7 speed DQ200 DSG it comes with a proper 5 speed manual as enthusiastic hatchbacks should and that is why the GTDDI is definitely one of the best enthusiast polos you can buy around the 5 speed manual in this car is a decent gearbox it's not the most intuitive gearbox around it does does have that rubbery feeling that most Volkswagen manual gearboxes have and the steering again it's a Volkswagen so it's pretty numb it's not telling you what it's doing but at least it's direct and you can understand where you're pointing the car and once you start pulling And what's more impressive is that it's a diesel car so even if you're doing all of this enthusiastic spirited driving this thing will still give you the fuel economy numbers that you want i mean easily on the highway this will give you 16 17 kilometers to the liter that too with some sort of aggressive uh driving but if you're actually trying to hyper mile this car i'm pretty sure you can go into like the mid 20s uh, in terms of kilometers to the liter for this car and that is quite impressive so now many people ask us what is the criteria for a good tuner car well the most basic thing that you should have is of course a turbocharger because then remap and all of that stuff is really effective because in an NA car you don't have that many variables to play with whereas in a car like this you have tons of variables and having a turbocharger makes sure that you can get a lot of power out of just a basic stage 1 tune so let me just run you all of the different uh, possibilities with the 1.6 GT DDI so this thing like I said makes 105 bhp stock 250 nm stock uh, do a stage one tune which costs about anywhere between 18 to 25 to 30 thousand depending on the tuner well this thing is easily able to make probably 120 to 125 bhp then if you go one step above which is stage two which means you have to change the downpipe of the car which will cost you anywhere between 15 to 20 thousand rupees for a downpipe if you want to go for a full exhaust system that's probably another 10 to 15 grand on top and a stock replacement performance air filter will cost you probably seven to eight grand for a KNN Piper Cross for the brand of your choice put a tune on top that's another 20 25 thousand rupees and after that this car will produce anywhere between 135 to 145 bhp theoretically and then comes the big one stage 3 for that you need to change the turbocharger you have to change the downpipe of course you need a performance air filter and if your tuner recommends then you of course need to get an intercooler for the car an upgraded intercooler of course and all of that will cost anywhere between probably one to two lakh rupees depending on where you source the parts from and what your tuner is charging in terms of labor for building the car so after driving this Polo GT TDI 1.6, it's been a very humbling experience because nowadays we've been driving some batshit crazy things on the channel. 200, 300, 400, 500 BHP cars. And well, this thing over here proves all of that wrong because even this car is very fun to drive and it shows that this much amount of power, even in a stock car, is very sufficient for our roads. More importantly, I know it's a Volkswagen, so it's not only as... Uh, inexpensive to run and maintain as a Maruti Suzuki or a Hyundai but this thing is still pretty cheap I mean like I said the used turbo for this thing is around 30 to 40 K maybe for a CR 140 turbo and the whole stage 3 build can be done in probably 1.5 to 2 lakh rupees if you have that budget so this is one of the most tuner friendly cars that you can do in a budget considering the fact that the car can be bought for anywhere between 4 to 5 lakhs and another probably 2 lakhs on top for all of the modifications and performance mods that you want to do this is a bang for buck car so let us know in the comments down below what you thought of the 1.6 GT TDI would you have it as your next tuner project car let us know in the comments down below subscribe to the channel for more such videos in the future and i'll see you in the next one
Also, a big shout out to Car Cosmic Mumbai for letting us use their studio to film this video. They do some really cool detailing work and we've provided their Instagram information down in the description below and you can also see their Instagram handle on the screen right now. So do check them out.